Hi folks, my name is Jay Amarones and I'm a transformation engineering lead here at Software AG and a specialist in the Aris product set. And today we're doing another Art of the Possible video with the Aris platform. And today we're gonna to talk about one of our best practices that we, we talk with many of our clients who are undergoing transformation projects um, and trying to keep track of how things are going, who is doing what work, what's left outstanding, and ultimately being able to see the progress that is being made on their transformation projects. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the use of certain attributes in Eris and give you some best practices on how we might use those attributes. And in particular, uh, one of the things we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be tracking the status of models as they go through different governance phases and using that to drive some insights on our project. So let's get started. To do this, I'm gonna open up one of my models. Um, let's open up uh, my sales uh, order processing, which is one of my favorites in our fictitious United Motor Group database. And one of the, stat one of the things I'm gonna use um, to tell me what's going on in my environment, what's going on with my models, are such attributes like last change. Like when did this last change? This model gives me a sense of its previously updated date, which was January 15th, 2019. Today it's, it's, in, it's in April, 2020. So you see it's been a long time since that last change. So we can see this one hasn't been worked on as part of our initiative. And we can dig into some more attributes that might be really relevant for us to figure out and track the status of our model. How has it been worked on in the project? Um, who has been working on it? And to do that, we're gonna go and use this details attributes tab. You can, by the way, you can also get uh, the attributes by clicking over here in the attributes properties window, but I, but I wanna just open some things up in the, in the editor just to show you. Now, one of, those, one of these attributes that's a default attribute comes with Aris is called the status attribute or model status. And you can see our default statuses are things like in progress or in process, complete release last change to be revised. And this is an example of how you might use this attribute to track the progress that somebody's making on this model. So for instance, you have something that's in process as people are making edits and going through the collaboration process. Um, you've got you know, things to be revised when you've sent things for approval and they've been rejected. You've got things last changes and you've got this, the, the, uh, the model is, has been revised as per the directions and waiting for final approval. You have complete as in a model uh, is done and it's waiting for the published to the knowledge environment for viewers and you have released as in this model has been published out to the, the environment that is for viewing only as sort of our source of truth, the way we do things. Now these are once again example statuses that by, by no means are they required to be used nor are those specific titles or that number of statuses requirement uh, of using Eris. We are able to change that in our methodology which, which we'll talk about in a subsequent video. But these are great ways of keeping track of what the, pro the process is going through, who's been working on it, what's going on with it. You can also see things like the last change we talked about, but also last user. So we can track who was using this last, so as in who was the last person to make a change and hit the save button. You could also turn on things like audit trails, um, so you can see sort of a, a sequential order of operations that have occurred to the model with changes in the people who executed those changes. But this is gonna feed directly into project management. When I was coming up uh, using the ARIS platform, I actually reported in or reported some statistics out of the, the tool set on a daily basis to the, to the project manager who was wondering by team, what was the velocity of activity? Who was doing what? And some of those things show up on things like reports, because remember this is a attribute of a model so I can see it on a report, or uh, in dashboards. And that's one thing that I wanted to, to, to drop into as well, is that there are things like dashboards that talk about human task management or process change management. What activities are being done by which people over time, who is responsible for certain things. So you can see the relative velocity of activity, um, including you know, wh where those change uh, reports or wh where those changes are being uh, assigned, who is realizing them, what are the statuses of them. And so that gives you a better sense of what the velocity of your project, which business units are leading or lagging, which people are have have lots of things on their plate that they have not yet completed, and which people uh, are are like clearing their queue and getting ready to go. And what what I used to do is I used to create these reports, you know, day over day, 
here's who's left to do some work here, which make, you know, work streams have work left to do. Here is who, who's leading or lagging and give project managers a sense of where, where they should sort of focus in on to make sure things are getting done. And that's how we can use Eris for project management. Now, a lot of these things are driven by the governance engine, which is a which is a technical topic that we'll talk about later. But note that the very first thing I did was simply set a status, an attribute of a model. And that's pretty easy to do. Um, so these dashboards are pretty handy. These sort of views and visualizations are great ways of reporting out information to those stakeholders. Now, for the tech tip of the day, I'm actually going to focus on a different interface and one of the functions of that interface, which directly ties into project management and monitoring of the status of things in Eris. And that is an Eris architect. And so one of the features that does not exist in, in Connect quite in the same way, I mean, there is, there's still a search menu, which I, I quite enjoy. You see I use that, that search bar at the top quite a lot. But in Eris Architect, there's actually a specific menu um, called the Find menu. Um, I, I, I quite like it. I use it a lot as, a, as an administrator to sort of go through and figure out what my population of X is, like, you know, how many models do I have of this type? How many objects do I have of this type? But one of the things you can do is filter things down. So a perfect example is I can say, I want to find all my models. Um, where I have the attribute, so now I've said the click on attribute filter. I'm going to add an attribute to filter things down. So I'm going to put status, so I care about the model status. And I want to know how many of my models are, are equal to uh, complete. So they've, they're done, they've gone through all their approvals, but they have not yet been properly published or released. Then I hit start, and you see it's going to search through the database and find all the different models. And you can see I've got six models that are complete but not released. And so that, that gives me a really fast way of pulling these things out. As a note for you, this find menu is really cool. I can actually, with the, hitting the shift button to select in a row or the control button to, to pick and select with clicks, I can actually um, run operations on multiple things from the find, find menu the same way you would in the Explorer window, um, which is kind of cool. Um, it's, this is a very handy little tool for Eris Architect users. So that's the idea of helping to start the conversation around project management in Eris, monitoring the status of activities, monitoring the human tasks, and ultimately monitoring your content. Now, I'm J.M. Rowlandson. You've been my listener again. Please leave likes, shares, comments. Let us know what you'd like to see in subsequent videos. This is our Art of the Possible series, the second of our, of our series on the Eris platform. And we'd love to help provide all the information you need. So please get in touch with Software AG or just leave comments on the videos. Whenever, wherever and wherever, whenever you see them. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.